Okay, here we're going to show you how to join a group and make sure that you're in the correct group and in case you want to change your group. Now it's very important to keep in mind that the groups are vital to this class. It's not easy to run a negotiation class if you don't have groups to negotiate with, which are kind of like companies. That's a key, key point. So you need to keep in mind that the groups are really important in this class. You need to join a group, of course, and you need to probably contact some class members to make sure you know them and you have their email. However, I cannot really help you very much on this because I cannot just release student information or let you have information because, as you know, in Taiwan, this is very restricted. And anyway, there will be students from many other schools even, other campuses, other locations that you won't be able to find easily. So maybe you can find out some students who have the class or join with a group of people and then make those your group members. That sounds like a great idea. So if you're at a school and you want to take this class, usually we shoot for five people in a group. And if you have two people, maybe you can find three other people at your school and they can join in on this class. And because it's all online, that's pretty straightforward and easy. Nothing to lose. Give it a try. Okay, so this page here is our Google Sheet, our Google page, our kind of word processor document where you can see all the details of the class, right? And I mean, it's just all the information in detail from the outline to step-by-step -step how to do things. On this page is going to be a link and that link is going to be for joining a group. So you can see here, we have this join a group. And then there's another link here for check membership. That's a check if you're in a group or you wanna maybe change your group. Okay, so for the join a group, let's go ahead and click that link and see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna join a group. Now remember, when you begin the process, there'll be no groups. So we come to this page here, which shows us groups one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to how many groups there are gonna be. But here we can right away see that one group, group number one is already full. That group is listed as group number one and it has zero empty seats. So an empty seat means it has space to allow someone in. If we look down a little bit, for example, group number 10, group number 10 has five empty seats. And in fact, you can see many have five. That's because in this example, the maximum number of people in a group is set for five. Once five fills up, it will close the group. Now, every semester may be a little bit different, so it may not always be five. I think five is a good number or a minimum. If we have a big class, though, we may have more than five. We may have up to eight. But right now, in this example, we're just looking at five. So if the groups can maximum take five, what does that mean? Group number one here has already filled up with five. They have equal to five people in them. So there's no empty seats cannot join it. Let's say that I'm looking at group number two. Okay, group number two is here. Here's group number two. They have one empty seat. I know somebody there. I want to join group number two. So what can I do? You can click on this link here and that will open up a form and this form is to join a group. So you can see it already has the group number inserted here, group number two. You don't want to change that, just leave it alone. And you're going to have to add some information like your email address, your Chinese name and your English name, if you have them. So for example, let's say I have my English name, but maybe I don't have a Chinese name. If I don't have a Chinese name, I can just type none. If I have a Chinese name but no English name, I can just type none. But it would be good if we had both of these. That would be very helpful. And of course, you need your student number and then you go ahead and submit. Now, when you submit, you're going to put your information into a database, of course, and then you're gonna be able to see the information. How can you see the information? Remember back on the negotiation class outline, we have a link. One link is to join a group and one group, one link is to check the membership of a group. So if I click on that link, 
I can see the different groups and the members already. So remember, group number one was already full, right? Because they had one, two, three, four, five members already. And here are their names and their addresses. Now, some of the information has been censored out or, or covered up with these stars replaced with these asterisks. And that's because we don't want to have that information totally public. So you can look here though and you can see your information. I think you can guess your name from your email and from the letters that are missing. You can still figure it out for yourself. Here I filled it in basically with test numbers and test information. So this is not real. But when you see it, it will be real and you can find your information and make sure it's correct. Now, when you go ahead and you join a group, what's the process that happens? As I just said, it goes from the form into the database. And this is the database. You can see it right here. I can see the database information. What if I don't like this? Well, one other thing that happens is when you fill out the form, Google will send you an email. And that email has the information that you completed. Remember, it had things like your name in it. It had your number in it. It also had your group that you're joining in it. You can take this email and open it up again and you can go ahead and press a button there, click on a button, and you will be able to edit that information. Once you edit it, it will send the information back to the database and it will update this information. So you can go ahead and change the information and change groups. Now, that's all very good, but once we begin our RPGs, RPG game time starts, then we will end any changes to the group. You will not be able to change. So there's going to be a kind of deadline. Let's call it a deadline. After that deadline, you cannot change. And after the deadline, you're all going to get the links to the RPG pages for your groups. Right before then, you don't get it because you might change groups and that information is very secret. But after the RPG begins, we're gonna lock in the information. You cannot change your groups. Then you'll get the links to the RPG page. So before the deadline, you can come here and look. Do I wanna change this or not? And is it correct? So that's how you join a group.